Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Price with Susquehanna Valley High School here in Conklin, New York. There's my email address if you need to contact me. We're doing the Algebra 1 Common Core Regents. This one is Thursday, June 16, 2016. And uh, we're going to do question number 11 right now. Number 11 says the range of the function f of x equals x squared plus 2x minus 8 is all real numbers. And then it gives us some uh, parameters. So let's see this. The function evaluated x equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. What is the range? So we have to think of range. So I know that the domain and the range are in alphabetical order. And x and y are in alphabetical order. Input and output are in alphabetical order. Okay, so that's what, and we are looking for the range, the y, or the output. Since I know that the range is the same as the y values or the output, I grab my graphing calculator and I'm going to hit the y equals. y equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. Then I'm going to look at the graph just to see what the uh, parabola looks like. Oh, that's nice. It's all on the screen. And it looks like there's all numbers greater than negative 9. So let's look at the table. And let's see what happens at negative 9. Okay, now I made a mistake that you might make, so I'll tell you what happened. I went to the x value for negative 9. And I would, then I was looking for some symmetry here. No, 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 no. We have to go to the y value for negative 9. Because that's what I was looking at. And there is negative 9 on the y value. So let's look at the graph one more time. It is the x value right around 1. A negative 1. So here, the x value right around negative 1 is 9. There we go. And look. We have negative 8, negative 8, negative 5, negative 5, 0, 0, 7, 7. So that has a symmetry. So it looks like that the range is all numbers greater than or equal to negative 9. Now let's take a look at the choices. Less than or equal to negative 9? No, they're bigger. Greater than or equal to negative 9? Yes, so far that's the answer that I want. Less than or equal to negative 1? That's domain. Greater than or equal to negative 1? No. Okay. Now let's go on to the question I want you to answer and hand in. Before we go on to uh, the problem that I want you to do, you have to be a little bit more familiar with interval notation. Now, all numbers greater than or equal to negative 9. Okay, so negative 9 is going to be um, on a number line, and greater than or equal to is going to be all these numbers up here. So interval notation means that negative 9 is going to be the smallest number, and we're going to go all the way to infinity. And infinity has to be a parenthesis because you can't stand on infinity. Now, why is 9 filled in? Because it says greater than or equal to, the equal to part. Now, what about set builder? Set builder is the easiest one to do because you do the brace and you do, uh, let me see, it is the range, so we're talking about the y's, not the x's, all numbers y such that y, uh, actually it says uh, greater than or equal to 9, yes, y is greater than or equal to 9, negative 9, there we go, okay, so this is step builder notation and the first one is interval notation, now let's take a look at your question. What is the domain in interval not notation for the function? Yeah. Scratch that. I changed it to range. I really like range better, okay? Uh, that's what happens when you make up questions along the way. So what is the range in interval notation for the function g of x equals negative x squared minus 4x minus 10? If you have any questions, make sure you ask me in class. I'll see you later.